Shalom, brothers and sisters. So let's touch on this whole growing setup for this peace deal that they're working on with the Palestinians and the Jews. Blinken, peace deal with Saudi Arabia must include Palestinian statehood. The U.S. Secretary of State was interviewed by the Pod Save the World podcast, saying that normalization between Israel and Saud must necessarily include a peace deal with the Palestinians and the establishment of a Palestinian state. Blinken said during the podcast that for the deal with the Saudis to move forward, Israel and the Palestinians must resolve their differences, as if that will ever happen, with the result being a two-state solution. The Secretary of State added he believes the Saudis have made the demand clear to Israel as well. Right, so you really need a big intervention for that to happen. Then they say it's the most fertile ground they've ever seen. Members of the Biden administration and a bipartisan group of lawmakers from U.S. Congress express great optimism about the prospect of Israel establishing normalized relations with new Arab and Muslim countries at an event marking the third anniversary of the Abraham Accords. Rep. Dean Phillips, who traveled to Israel and Saudi earlier this month, said the prospects for peace between the two countries was the most fertile ground I've ever seen in my lifetime. The time is right, Phillips said. Not only is it possible, it is necessary. I've never been so inspired, so hopeful, and so grateful in my entire life. People, he's spot on because the time is now for a peace deal involving Israel and its enemies to come to the fore and to be part of a larger agreement with many and to be strengthened or confirmed for a time of seven, seven years, one week, one drive towards 2030, never before and never again will there be such a focus, such a drive on a seven-year time frame where even the UN, Antonio Guterres is saying, we've got seven years and in this week, he's talking about the actual week they're together now, but it just rallies together. In this week, we must all come together, peace and stability, peace and security. What does the Bible say happens then? Sudden destruction will come upon them. But before all that, we will go to a wedding feast. There is overwhelming biblical evidence. There's overwhelming rapture dreams and visions. There's overwhelming inspiration from God that he is coming to fetch us soon. So keep looking up. Shalom.